Evelyn, you there? I planted the first transmitter. Great, awesome. The numbers are coming back. It looks so weird. Like, the frequencies look like they're decaying, but also, huh. It appears to be breaking a lot of rules Doppler established 200 years ago. How are things looking? Does it feel weird out there? Over. Oh, it's pretty nuts out here, Evelyn. If I were you, I'd stay inside. Hunker down. Over. Yeah, I... No, I should. I'm sorry, my mind's... I'm waiting on a call from my sister. We were supposed to get dinner, because she lives in Kamina, and... I haven't actually heard from her in a while. Sorry. I'm just thinking about that. If I sound distracted. Oh, uh, Evelyn, I'm sure she's fine. I don't know how far this thing has spread, but... Probably not further than the coast. Where does she live? On the coast. But uh, it should be okay. You're right, I just hope her phone's just dead. All right, sorry about all this. Thanks for the call. Hit me up when you plant the next one. Over and out. unless it's an emergency, over and out. Hmm, sounds like they're starting to move around. Better keep that in mind. Yeah, okay, good to know. Doesn't the... doesn't the light seem weird? Riley? Uh, 
Hey, Olive Branch. Are your shoes tied? They're tied. Tied? It's tied! Hey, it's because I need you to pay attention. It's tied! Show me. Hang on, look. See? Okay. Hello? Oh, wait, I... Why do I sound weird? The worst thing you can do to someone is waste their time. And killing someone is basically wasting all their time at once. It was a spider. I didn't know it was in the drain. And now, that spider that lived in our drain is no longer with us, is it? Animals wax and wane too, you know. Planet Shine isn't just for members of parentage. Who are you talking to? I just want her to learn... And she will learn. Now, what do you want to do today? I want to do everything! you get in here? You have no right to be here with them! We really need to... I just... I don't know what's going on. Why I can't keep it together. This is the right night. It has to be. They wouldn't have... wouldn't have told me if it wasn't. I will get to Planet Shine. I will get to Planet Shine. I will. Riley? Riley, are you okay? You kind of zoned out. How are you holding up? I lost you for a second. I saw Olivia with two older people. I don't know. I think she was trying to do something in the, uh, the time stream. I am not sure. Trying to do what? What did you see? Another time jump thing? I think she was with our parents, maybe? They were talking about planet shine, that thing she says. I don't know, she seemed sad, desperate a little. Mm. Come on, we still have two more transmitters to place. Let's figure out where to go next. We'll just take the short path down to the beach, and then it's, uh, just across the way. Should be a good lookout for a transmitter location past that. Watch, uh, watch your footing. It gets kind of steep. I think we're close to the ranger station, too. I'll be all right, Jacob. Just do me a favor and don't twist your ankle trying to watch where I'm going. Uh, no, no, I, uh, <laughs> I won't. You, uh, you're pretty good at this stuff, right? Like, basic training stuff. What stuff? Oh, you know, like, general athletics, hiking, basic training stuff. Was this, like, part of what you, uh, what, what you did in the military? This sort of thing? Uh, no. My dad and I just went hiking a lot, so I know some of these trails. He'd teach me basic survival tricks. How to make fire from ice, crap like that. He was just kind of one of those guys. That's cool. Yeah, my dad was more of a, if you want to learn how to shave so badly, ask your mother sort of person. Which, you know, at the time I didn't really mind. I guess I still don't. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Of, of course. I'm making it sound like I was forced into bonding with my father. Well, you're... No, 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 no. You're fine. You didn't make it sound like anything. My dad was great. He was fine. We were fine. We just didn't do stuff like hike much. That's all. Oh, great. Another anchor for the rope. You getting the hang of it yet? I'm getting enough. Let's put it that way. Mm. Uh, mm. Oh. Okay. Hey, you doing okay? You kidding? This is my uh, happy place. <laughs> Hey, that's Olivia's friend. Charlie. Hey, buddy. Wait up. Jacob, wait. Let's stick together. He has something. Wait. Ugh. Open the gate. Hey, you, lady. You and uh, Gingerbread here better quit following us. Ugh, or bad me? things are gonna happen. Seriously. Oh, will you just shut up, dude? Hey, wait, come on. We helped out your buddy Violet, okay? She was in trouble, and now she's not because of us. And now we need you to open the gate. Maybe we get you out of trouble too? Sound fair? Violet didn't need you, and neither do I. None of us need you. This is stupid. Look, whatever you and your little friends are don't doing- Don't follow me. Don't follow us. Stop what you're doing. Last warning. Wait! And Gingerbread, come on. Are these your work hours or something? You look exhausted. And I mean that in a bad way. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you eat something? And go to hell also. God, you and your entire freak show crew. Don't think we don't know you're up to something. Okay, okay. Jacob, he's gone. You can breathe. Ah, it's just... Mm, so annoying. But if we'd gotten here just two minutes earlier... <sighs> okay... Okay, it's... I'm fine. There's probably a key for the lock at the ranger station. It's just up here. Ugh. So, uh, gingerbread. What's... Oh, yeah. Uh, that. It's, um... This is incredibly dumb, but... Two summers ago, I was at the beach and I went to go to the bathroom in a, you know, one of the latrines they have there. And as a prank, some high schoolers pushed it over. And I fell out practically naked, and they call me gingerbread now as a goof. And that's it. Not a whole lot to explain. Okay, but why gingerbread? Because my hair down there is pretty light, and in the sun it looked red, and so that's... that's it. It's just something some of them thought they saw. Like I said, it's dumb. Oh, like, who cares what a bunch of delinquent kids call you? They're probably just jealous you have pubes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's what I tell myself too. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> okay. Whew, okay. That's the ranger station, so you're welcome. Jesus, what happened here? Looks like, like, parentage ransacked the place. Or ha had a seance? God, I have no idea. What could these symbols mean? Ranger! Are you... Uh, in the bathroom? No? Crap. Ah, uh, maybe if we'd come here instead of Charity Point. You know? No, we don't know when they left. This... We could have been too late no matter what. There's broken glass over here. That guy... God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have taken the ranger's walkie. Let's just look for a gate key to get back on the road. Roger. I'll uh, just redial the last number. Okay. This 
to Shelly, Park Ranger at Oberon Station. Anyone there? You're a park ranger. We're at the, the, uh, the Turnstone Forest Station and we need assistance. Oh, this is Turnstone? I, I just called there. I'm getting a few scattered reports of an electrical storm in your area. Riley, I tell her what's going on. Fires have started. Have you seen anything? And is Local 43 on standby? Look, uh, Shelly, I-, I know what you're talking about, but it's it's not an electrical storm. Something else is going on, and I-, I don't know how much I can get into it without you just hanging up, but... Okay, slow down. First, can I ask who I'm speaking with? Hello? Uh, Riley? Riley Poverly? I grew up here. So, Riley, it's not a storm. Something else is going on. Okay. I would normally write this up as tomfoolery, but I've been getting too many off-color calls tonight. And I've been hearing other things on my patrols. Stuff I would normally chalk up to coffee-induced auditory hallucinations. But you couple these with the phone calls. It's been an interesting night, to say the least. Real interesting. You see, we're not crazy. Or you are, and so am I, but we'll cross that bridge, so to speak. So look, I have to go check something out, but if you have a walkie, I'm on one. Talk to you in a second. Hey, Riley, you there? Over. Yeah, Shelly, I'm, I'm here. Perfect, you sound clear. All right, is there anything else I can help you with? Over. Uh, yeah, actually, do you, do you happen to know where the key for the gate is? Over. Trying to get to the beach? It's on the bulletin board, tacked up. All right, I have to leave, but I'll be in touch. You do the same. Over and out. No, she seems nice. If Ranger Shelley actually helps us, sure, very nice. Hey, found a key. There's no markings, but a pink sticker. Oh, awesome. That has to be for the gate. Well, it doesn't have to be, but, you know, hopefully. Maps. With a bunch of districts listed. I guess to delineate which ranger takes which patch of forest in case of anything. I don't know if we'll find the Park Ranger geographical coding system particularly helpful at this point. What's this? Oh, did they stuff a squirrel? A little plaque says, Nutty the Squirrel. I'm sure there's a, a story there. When you said your dad took you hiking... Sorry, it just reminded me. How's, uh, your dad doing? The last time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, but we were, uh... I was at the grocer, and he was before me in line. And the clerk asked about you or something? And, uh, your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after something? Their story there? Or... It's just some dead soldier that died in some town in Dublin. Not much of a story. But no, that's... that's cool. He also... your dad mentioned how proud he was that you I guess you just enlisted and he was proud to be following in his footsteps I don't think it was bullcrap for what it's worth yeah Jacob frankly I think he was just happy I was out of his hair well he said he was proud so but you know you obviously know better going to sound, but I I keep having flashes of high school passing you in the hall between third and fourth period. That's when I'd see you during the day. Everyone else always looked in a hurry, but you definitely weren't. ran in different circles, I think. And it's just weird, I guess, doing this together. It's, it's weird how things go. 
I'm sorry, my mind wanders. Can I ask? There were like six kids who didn't get a yearbook photo, and I was always like, who wouldn't want to get their yearbook picture taken? It's senior year! Because I'm, at heart, a dictionary salesman. But can I just ask, did you just not want to? If it's like personal, then forget to ask. Oh, uh -huh. I wasn't sick, or my dad didn't pull me out for religious reasons or anything like that. I just didn't want to. I felt like it'd be commemorating something I didn't even believe in. School? What's not to believe in? I don't believe in anything ever being really done. And sticking my picture in the back of a book wasn't going to change that. That's a way to look at it, yeah, but... You, well, actually, never mind. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. keep thinking about what they could be doing, what they could be trying to do. Parentage, the cult, just with all this. You gotta figure, or at least I'm figuring, there's two possibilities. Either they're a bunch of underbaked human beings making underbaked life choices, just thinking this whole thing's a lark, without really measuring the consequences. You know? Well, Olivia at least seems pretty focused. I just feel like whatever plan they have is baked. She knows what she's doing, or at least why. Or whoever is telling her what to do. Or, what if they're right? What if whatever they're trying to do is the right thing to do? I'd uh, hate to be getting in the way of our one true opportunity at eternal salvation. Well, we can't really wait around and see, you know? Yeah, uh, true. I'm also just trying to remind myself that I, too, was once a dumb asshole teenager who did dumb asshole teenager things. I'm trying to. Maybe not succeeding, but trying. I mean, sure, we all smoked each other out in our grandparents' bathroom, but, like, these kids are way worse. I wonder if your folks would say the same. Hey, wait, there he is. Hey! Ah, damn it! Stop! Jacob, come on, wait! Ah, oh, jeez. You come here! Rover, Red Rover, who wants to come over? Hello? Uh, who, uh, who is speaking? Who, who? Are you an owl? Tag, tig, tiggy tips, touch and go and then you're it. If to play, just say okay. Play what? What, what am I supposed to do? Just follow along. Sticks and stones can break my bones. And so can rocks, and so can blocks. Bloody and red, they'll kill me dead. No more night, no more light. Twenty. Nineteen. Cold. Eighteen. Colder. Seventeen. Sixteen. Warm. Fifteen. Fourteen. Is it cold in here? Thirteen. Warm. Warmer still. Twelve. Eleven. Even warmer. Ten. Warmer. Heating up. Hot. Nine. Ooh, hot. Burning. Eight. It's the... It's the light. The light, right? Correct. April 
sweeper, chimney sweeper. Had a wife but couldn't keep her. Had another, didn't love her. Chimney, he did shove her. Body of the woman was found after neighbors complained about a strange smell emanating from the house every time a fire. Footprints almost look like they go into the wall. Winner! Hickory Dickory Dock. Who is that hiding behind the rock? Miss feeding you. I'll miss when you sat on my lap. Uh, huh? And most of all, I'll just miss you being around. Goodbye, Lewis. You'll always be my favorite gecko in the world. I've, I, uh, I don't know what to do next. You can be happy, you know them. Some people, funerals, for them, it's a... It's like a party. It's a really big party to celebrate the deceased's life. That's nice. I like that. Or the idea. 
Let's throw a party then. When we get home, we'll have a big cricket cake in honor of Lewis. Maybe. <laughs> um, maybe. I'm going to miss him so much. I'm really going to miss him. You don't need to hug me. It's fine. I'm fine. What? Are you afraid someone's watching? Nobody's watching. It's not that. It's... I just don't want that. Ugh, he's moving so slowly. I know I can't punch every problem, but I really wish he was going faster. I hope I die before you do. I don't want to see you like that. Please don't die before I do. Nobody talks about how scary funerals can be, huh? This is nothing, kiddo. There's gonna be much worse funerals. You gotta, gotta get used to it. Don't look away. I, I don't like seeing him alone. I, can't we, isn't there a way to get him back? I don't like seeing him out there. Sweetheart, I know it's hard right now, but- No, I want to be with him. I don't want him to be alone. I'm sorry, but kiddo, come on. You can't be with him, and that's all right. Rex? Damn it! Damn it! I don't want to see him. I don't want to... Mom? Riley? 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 Wait, where's Charlie? Didn't you run after him? Yeah, but he got away, actually. And he took off over the hill, and I thought I was already getting too ahead of myself. So, came back. Well, thanks for trying anyway. I appreciate the effort. Trust me, my lungs do not. The path he was on funnels back to Tatiga Falls. So, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll still be there. Come on, let's hit the road. Oh, sorry, I forgot to kick the rope down earlier. I was, let's call it focused. Yeah, that's diplomatic enough. There he is! Son of a... God, these assholes! Hey, get back here! Hey! Hey, kid, we need to talk to you, okay? Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, take a little tumble there, pal? Get up. Yeah, okay, asshole. You got me. What the hell do you think's gonna happen now, huh? You have no idea what you're messing with. The powers that they've given us? What? You wanna take a swing at me? I won't even move. Land a solid one, right oh, there. You just shut up already. Let me tell you, you're not helping the situation. Oh, what the hell do you know about it? You're as old as you are stupid. Stop yapping. A final warning. Ooh. You're just lucky okay, I missed- Okay, just tell us what you and your little pals are up to, and we'll think about letting you go. Letting him go? What we're doing tonight is going to change our lives. Change everything. Hand over the stuff you stole from the ranger station. Oh, this stuff? God, you are an asshole. Takes one to know one. That's it. I've had enough of this, this, whatever this is. 
I swear to God, if you don't start talking some sense right now, you're gonna get your mouth smacked off your goddamn face. Hey, whoa. You understand? I don't speak, Dick. Hey. Ow! Jacob, hey. stop. Just stop, seriously. We're getting... This is getting bad. Getting bad? This night is literally falling apart, and it's this prick's fault! Him and his whole crew! They think they can mess with me and my, my stuff, and now tonight! Just... just let me talk to him, okay? We don't need all this. Fine. Whatever. Do it your own way. So, what, are you, like a cop? Don't worry about me. Explain tonight. Explain? We're making things right, and tonight's the only night we can do it. I can't let her down. I just can't. Okay? And besides, I need them to help me too. And I'm not about to start messing with that. Not for you. No way. You need whose help? Wh what's going on here? I... wait. Who's... <sighs> Whoa. Uh... Kid? Uh, your eyes? Uh, he's... it's like he's sleepwalking. I don't know. I, this is nuts. <laughs> What should we do? We can't just leave them, right? Uh, uh, are you okay, I, buddy? I know I'm hearing a radio signal. Maybe there's a way to... I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. Conscious, but like sleeping. I mean, that's good, right? Hey, yeah, he's okay, great, but we need to plant the transmitter now. Uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. God, our future is its future? What the hell does that even mean?
sorry, but back to the, uh, the the stealing our future stuff. I mean, should we be doing like anything about that? How do you uh, want to handle that? Any uh, any thoughts? Nothing's changed, Jacob. It's the same as it's been. We plant the transmitters. We stop those kids. We stop the ghosts. We go home and have a shower. Roger. Okay, transmitter. Let's find a place for it. I, uh, I, and, uh, hey, I, I just want to say sorry about getting too hot with the kid. Don't sweat it. It's over. Thanks. I just... I don't know. The kid just really got under my skin. I'll be better. Don't worry. got a vision from the future. We catch nothing and get takeout for dinner. I guess we gotta go home. Don't want to piss off the, uh, yeah, uh, I can, uh, relate. You're usually very, the ends don't justify the means, so I'm surprised we're fishing at all. We're not catching anything anyway. Not if we don't use live bait. The guy at the store said so. Remember? Good idea. Let's use you. Never mind. Never mind. Mm, This is taking so long. Let's just go to seafood sales. Please? I know. Get used to it. That's your answer to everything. Ugh. Can we leave? share my hush puppies. I'll share a hush puppy. Come on, kiddo. In the grand scheme of the, you know, timeline of the universe, all those billions of years, in the grand scheme, we're not waiting at all. Not really. I mean, when you put it like that, in the grand scheme, we're not even here at all. Not really. Oh, you owe me so much pizza after this. Hey! Check it out! I... I I think I got one! Almost got him. Can we fry him? Is that a thing? Sure, if it's big enough. Mm. It's dead. Mom? 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 Jacob! Buried alive, too? In, like, not in dirt, but in bugs? Hey, it's okay, man. Take a second. I, okay, I'm trying to take it. Hmm, I would take all the seconds, but... <sighs> I just want to get out of here. Charlie must have left. Or I, I don't know what. I don't care. Yep, co-signed. We planted the transmitter. We're done here. We're leaving here.
Oh, oh man, that was brutal. I keep seeing this, like, this kid. And he knows me, and yeah. You're not getting that? No. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm apologizing, but I'm apologizing. Sorry. Hey, Evelyn. The second transmitter is planted. Any news? Riley? Hey, sorry. I'm the last one here. The rest decided to hike back to the hotel. One too many calls from weird voices, I think. Finally pushed Jim out the door. All right, let me look at these readings. Okay, this is... Oh, how? So, wave particles in water move perpendicularly to the wave's direction of travel. And airwaves oscillate in the same direction. These frequencies are moving in every direction. That's not normal. Or possible. Over. Uh, so? Over? So, things just aren't right. And the rate of decay on these, it's... This is unbelievable. Oh, crap, my mom is calling me. Crap. I haven't heard from my sister yet, and she... She's gonna ask if I talk to her. I'm getting really worried, but... My mom's gonna flip. Ugh... Crap! I don't know what to do. Oh, just make up something. No need to worry your mom as much as you are when you don't know if anything's wrong yet. Yeah, I, I think you're right. God, okay, this call is going to suck. Sorry, Riley, I have to take this. I'm still here for you whenever you need to chat. Over and out. Sheesh, people really love tagging everything up here. Oh, that, yeah, that's been here a while, though. Yeah, like when my dad was a kid, he had his photo taken, and this was in the picture. Something about it being old just makes it more uh, acceptable for some reason. Oh, look. It says that a, a house, a cabin, was here in the 30s, but a passing transient accidentally burned it down when failing to extinguish his cigarette. Yikes. Only you can prevent forest fires, kids. Hmm, it's interesting. Didn't know that. Hey, Riley, hold up a second. Listen to this. I'm, I don't know what happened, but I ran into that lady in Gingerbread. The lady stopped Jacob from, like, getting into a fight with me, practically. Oh, really? She, actually, her and that guy helped me out a little. I'm heading to the church now. Over. Stop talking on open air! Shut up! Wait, wait, wait. But is the, is the plan to still run the radio station and kill their transmitter array? Over. Shut up! Seriously! There is no plan. But... There is no plan! Bye. Over and out. Um, did they say something about killing our transmitter field? So, is that true? What they were saying? That they can somehow disrupt our transmitters? Um, technically. They mentioned a radio station. If they can hijack the frequency or broadcast the station's signal in the right way, yeah, it could smother our array. Which, uh, isn't good. Obviously. Uh, okay. Well, how do we, how do we stop them? I don't think we can. Our transmitters just won't be able to compete if it's a genuine station. Olivia's group owns the lease on the community center, and Parentage puts out a weekly address. It's like public access, but worse. Super strange stuff. I, I think they're gonna use whatever equipment they have to try and screw up our night. Mm. You know, you know, if we can get to their equipment and turn it off, or just break it first, I mean, they're not there yet. Olivia's friends screwed up. I know it sounds caveman, but I think it's the only option we have. Hey, if that's the only plan, then fine. We don't really have a lot of time to waffle. <sighs> True. God. Okay.
You know, when I first heard about the frequencies, the, the weird radio chatter, I thought, man, Maggie, really onto something. Way before any of the rest of us was. And this is weird, I know, but I couldn't help but think about how I'll be looked at later by anyone who knew me. The, the, the lonely old hermit who was right once. I just don't want my life to be defined by inertia. If that makes sense. You're... We're still young enough, Jacob, that... I mean, who knows what your story will be? It hasn't been written yet. Not completely. I have visions of me in the future. Different... Did they... Hmm... Dogs, different shows on the TV. But I haven't left. I haven't done anything. I don't talk to my brother in New York really ever, and I think it's because he feels bad for me. I just hope he's wrong to feel that way. Well, you're sure as hell doing a lot tonight. Kamina would probably be consumed with time ghosts if you hadn't been around to help stop it. Thanks, Riley. I'll quote you on the Christmas card I'll send him this year. Could be talking about the uh, the ghosts or beings or whatever they are. They emit a soft light. Maybe they're seeing that. Over. Uh, yeah. I still think there's a more logical explanation here, but okay, if that's what you think, I'm going to investigate, and it'll take me probably half an hour. Just wanted you to know. You could still contact me. Shelly, honestly, I wouldn't. It's not exactly safe out here. I wish I wasn't out here. Over. I'll be fine, Riley. Don't worry about it. A quick check. It's my job. I'll check back in with you, whether or not I see anything. Over and out. Ah. 
Oh, hey, I just, I just thought maybe Maria would be a good person to call. You know? Yeah, after all that, with her friends. She might know something, anything that could help. Uh, yeah, that might be a good idea. Shelly, you ever heard of parentage? Oh, oh, Lord. God, yes. I have heard of the effing parentage. Sorry, on duty. Try to monitor the language. The number of times I've had to deal with their naked forest dancing ceremonies. It's like, okay, wanna dance naked? Cool. That's why God invented backyards. Over. There was this one member, though. She died a few years back. I don't know. It wasn't so hippy dippy. More a scary Harry. More scary than. How so? She hated parentage more than me, but she was still a member. Just some bog standard old lady complaining about how the old ways were dying out. Kids these days. The usual tap dance. I had to drive her back home once after she twisted her ankle during one of their naked dance offs. The story she told. That's when it started to get scary. Among other things. Over. Super horrific? I'm talking the gritty reboot of the Inquisition. Apparently its founders were a lot less into naked dancing. And a lot more into fire. And bodies. But, pin in that, I gotta do a quick walk around. There are sleeping skunks in this area. And they're not fond of talking alarm clocks. Check back later. Over and out. Nick, it's Riley. You didn't sink, right? Hey there. Still floating. I appreciate the checkup. Water took a turn, though. But not a friendly one. We're not quite in Charlie Foxtrot territory, but, you know, if the weather gets worse, I can still handle it, but... Hopefully I'm the only idiot tooling around out here. Air Force? I'm guessing Army? Should I slow down? Use simpler words? Only teasing. I have nothing but admiration for the grunts. That means I like you, in case admiration has too many syllables. Couldn't speak for the current state of the service, but when I was your age, everyone was itching for the fastest, shiniest bird in the coop. Everyone wanted to fly. Everyone. I wanted to explore. I wanted the shuttle. Let the flyboys have their pissing contest. I had my eyes elsewhere. Ever see the inside of a shuttle? Over. Sure. On TV, like everyone else. I was too tall, you see. They cap astronauts at six foot four. I'm over by a single inch. Genetics. What you gonna do? Not like I could cut my feet off. Though the thought had occurred. Yeah, all right, Nick. Good catching up, but I gotta go, okay? Over. Ah, okay. I'll see you around. Over and out. Hey, Maria. Are you there? Over. for how to deal with Olivia. Oh, that bitch? You just sobered me up with that one. Great. Can I be honest? Can I speak honestly? Olivia sucks. Charlie has a thing for her. God knows why. And Violet will do anything she says. So, look, here's... Help me out. Here's my problem. Charlie's a great guy. How do I get him to stop looking at Olivia and start seeing me? <laughs> you want my advice? Don't try it all. Really, just 
Don't do anything. Over. That's, yeah, don't try at all. Minimalist. Thanks. Also, why is that red light on? Oh, crap. I'm on. Talk to you later, Rai. Ah. All right. Phew. I, uh, think we might have gotten here first. Seems pretty quiet. Just, uh, follow me. It's right here. Is this gate normally open? Uh, not this late. Olivia might have beaten us here, 